Hey guys, what is going on? This is Jaren, and welcome to the first episode for my job guide videos featuring assassins. So a lot of you have requested for assassin in the poll that I created in my previous video. If you haven't seen it, it is about making full use of your stamina. I'll be linking it in my description along with the poll that I will still be using for the next videos. Alright, so let's get to it. Assassins, basically assassins are your uh, melee, um, dagger, or katar users. They rely on very fast attacks and deadly poisons as well. So to, to be an assassin, first off, you have to choose to be a thief for your first job. And um, then continue on to be an assassin at your um, base level 40 and job level 40. So I won't talk much about that. We'll talk more about some builds that you can make for your own assassins. Since that is what most of you have been asking me for. So what are the different types of builds that you can choose? There is a dagger build which relies on auto attacks, double attack, and you can also use sonic blow. There is also a dagger type that relies on poison attack. So this build relies on the target being uh, in a poison state and then reducing their HP uh, over time. There are also some skills that is related to poison that can burst down the target. Another build is the high attack sonic blow build. So this build relies on using a katar but instead of auto attacking and critting you rely on your sonic blow the other build for qatar can actually be uh overlapped since they both share a lot of similar uh, traits but the crit qatar build relies more on agility rather than strength so before we begin let's first see what are the vital stats for an assassin so you can see the stats here and uh, assassin relies highly on strength so strength increases the attack of players of melee jobs so since we are a melee job our damage mainly relies on our strength and the next one is agility which increases attack speed and flee uh, flee is your chance to dodge attacks and uh, that's one trait that the assassin is really good at uh, vitality is useful for pvp but not so much for um, pve or grinding it can also be useful for mvp or mini boss hunts you can also add those stats if you want to intelligence we don't really want to grab any intelligence since that is mainly focused on magic attacks and sp although sonic blow builds do burn a lot of sp um, I think there are items that we can use to compensate for that SP burn. Dexterity is one thing that dagger users usually add. However, Dexterity is not useful for a crit type assassin since critical attacks do not miss. They are 100% hit as long as it is critical. And Luck increases crit and critical defense and hit rate of abnormality. So if you want to try to stun a target, um, getting more luck increases that chance. So let's go for the builds for every type. So the first one is dagger type. Dagger type relies highly on attack speed since you want to double attack as much as you can, as fast as you can in a short amount of time. Getting that 300 to 400 attack speed is a great thing to have, especially when you are using daggers. So getting high agility, maybe at around 70 or 80 agility and getting a strength of around 50 to 60. Then around 30 dexterity is a good stat build. Prioritize on attack speed and uh, medium strength and low dex. You can also add some vitality if you want to for some boss hunts. So that's it for the stats for dagger build. So let's move on to the skills. Your damage relies mostly on double attack. So you get double attack, you get improved flee. Hiding and ambush are good skills that you can get. Ambush is quite useful for PvP. So before you go out of hiding, you can use ambush before using other skills. Enchant poison also adds damage to your attacks when you are able to poison the target. And it is also amplified by the enhanced enchant poison which gains attack when you use enchant poison. But do note that when you use enchant poison, your weapon turns into poison property. So there are uh, monster properties that you may not hit good at, maybe um, against ghost or maybe against poison monsters. So let's move on to the assassin skill tree. This one you will want to get twin blade penetration which reduces the defense of the target by 50% for a short amount of time. Sonic Blow also works with Dagger, so you want would want to get this. And getting Sonic Blow Acceleration also helps since it increases your hit and the base damage of Sonic Blow. Those three skills only use up 20% of your skill points. You, can, you will be using 10 more points into your Enhanced Enchant Poison, which gives you more attack when you use Enchant Poison, so that helps a lot in your DPS. Or damage per second then you will have 10 spare skill points left which you have an option to uh, put into maybe backsliding or virus diffusion or venom dart depending on what you want to do so that those 10 skill points is already up to you for the dagger build next for assassin cross dagger builds don't have much options when it comes to assassin cross skills since most of the available skills is useful for katars but here is what i would suggest 
um, 100% go for Gent Deadly Poison. This gives you 30% more attack. Slash, you can use this skill to amplify your next attack so you can get more um, out of your out of your normal attack. So if you're a dagger user, you can use Slash as well. So those are the two main skills which I think can help you with PvE. Soulbreaker is a different thing. I did not add Soulbreaker uh, in, the, uh, in, in the builds we have right now. Simply because I, ha I don't have much experience with Soulbreaker. Meter Assault is mostly for PvP. Doesn't really help much in terms of PvE. Since uh, PvE, you'll be relying as a dagger user in your Sonic Blow or um, Auto Attacks or Slash maybe. But here is what I think you can do with your skill points as a dagger assassin in terms of PvE or farming. So basically, you only rely on Enchanted Deadly Poison from your Assassin Cross. However, you have this. So critical attacks deal 3% more damage and also this one which increases crit by 2%. Um, by 2% for the whole party and higher percent at higher levels. You can say that you don't actually build crit. However, this can also be helpful if you are a dagger user. How? Getting a crit rate and crit damage can be useful if your double attack does not trigger. So, so let's say your double attack um, misses or does not trigger. Your next check for attack is whether is it a crit or not. Having crit rate and um, having some crit on your dagger type doesn't really hurt you since it's quite free since there is no other skill to allocate it if you would allocate your skill points towards crit damage and crit rate and your double attack does not trigger and the crit triggers the skill already paid off for itself so basically you don't rely on crit but you have an option to crit as a dagger type so let's move on to the other type which is the dagger type sonic blow build for this build the only difference would be that strength would be the priority instead of agility because for the dagger at double attack build, agility is your main priority and strength is your sub priority. However, for your Sonic Blow build, you would want to get more strength rather than agility because you will be using Sonic Blow much more often rather than attacking. Um, for the dexterity, you will still need around 20 to 30 depending on whether you miss or not. Uh, if you don't miss a lot, maybe 10 to 15 will do. For the skill build for Sonic Blow, there is no uh, difference between the first skill build that I just showed, which is for the dagger double attack so you can just use the skill build which i explained in the double attack build for dagger so next for the sonic blow qatar build the stat build will be similar to the dagger build which is high strength medium agi and um, right amount of deck because again it is still relying on sonic blow what the big difference would be would be for these skills so let's move on to that so for the skills um since you will be using qatar double attack using qatar does not work so you would take out that double attack and from the thief skills you can add it into maybe ambush or detoxify venom knife could also work as well so it depends on whether which one you want you prefer the main thing is take out double attack um same thing here take out twin blade penetration then exchange it with qatar mastery then that would be basically it you will take um 10 qatar mastery 10 sonic blow 5 sonic acceleration 10 enhanced enchant poison and you will have five more points which you can spend maybe on backslide or Venom Dart or whichever one you prefer. Lastly for Assassin Cross for Qatar build, again your main priority once again is Enchant Deadly Poison. This one gives you 30% of attack for 40 seconds which is higher than the advanced Qatar research which is 20%. So you will still be getting both, um, both skills but you would prioritize Enchant Deadly Poison since it gives you 30% rather than the 20% of advanced Qatar research. You will be taking as well the uh, these three other skills so assassination heart which gives you three percent critical damage and assassination halo which gives you two crit rate per level so that will give you the 40 points that you can use for assassin cross so this build prioritizes mainly on sonic blow for katars um, it yields great amount of damage especially with the higher attack of these you will still get crit damage since you will most likely still auto attack in between sonic blows and getting a crit in those auto attacks can be a great thing so let's move on with the Qatar crit build. This will be different from the previous builds we had. Here we will have mid strength, maybe around 50 to 60 strength, and uh, high agi, which is around maybe 70 to 80 agi, maybe higher than that to up to 90, 90 plus. And then moving on to an option to lock. So yes, that is right, an option to lock. So Qatars receive two times the crit rate. So for example, I get an item with five crit. Effectively, for if I use my Qatar, I will be having 10% crit rate or 10 crit. So again, it doubles the crit that you gain. So if you get a 10 crit item, um, you will uh, effectively have 20 crit. So 
this makes it that you will only have to collect 50 crit to get that 100 crit. Just take note though that there is a critical defense. So since there is a critical defense, this counteracts your crit. So just having 100 crit is not enough for players especially since players will be having critical resistance as well. Going over that 100 crit is good. So if you want to go over that 100 crit, you can add luck to your build. And for the skill build, it is basically just the same from the previous Qatar build from Sonic Glow build simply because you would still want to have Sonic Glow available for you even if you are a crit type assassin. This guide is mainly for PvE and farming. I haven't tried enough PvP yet to give any insights in terms of PvP skills and stats. Uh, so I think most of us are really just focusing on uh, PvE or PvP and um, MVPs. So getting uh, those MVP drops, rare drops, and rare items is our goal. So um, these types of these builds that I just um, mentioned can work for those builds. So next would be the items. So I'll be using this handbook for our items. Most of the items is already here. For our dagger types, we have three different daggers which you can use effectively. So the first one is Holy Dagger. Holy Dagger is upgraded from Full Black Dagger. If you are an auto attack type dagger, Holy Dagger is your friend because it has high attack and it also gives you bonus attacks while you are auto attacking. The next dagger is Venom Dagger. Again, for those who want to use Poison type, build for pvp you get bonus damage from your skills venom dagger and venom knife and lastly it is sandstorm so sandstorm can help you farm larger sized monsters um, since naturally daggers can only do 100 percent damage against small monsters 75 percent damage against medium monsters and 50 percent against large sized monsters this basically helps you with uh, bonus damage against larger sized monsters and more damage and more bonuses when you are able to upgrade Sandstorm at higher tiers. Two daggers that I would recommend basically is Sandstorm and Holy Dagger since they both serve different purposes it is good to have them both. Next one is Qatar. The first Qatar that we have here, here is Agent Qatar. So Agent Qatar is the upgraded version of Qatar of Quaking. Um, this one is your crit damage or critical rate Qatar. It has high crit rate and gives you bonus crit damage and also gives you high attack so more crit damage when you upgrade the weapon just this weapon alone can give you a 20 crit rate and any further will give you five more so that is 30 crit rate overall if you're able to upgrade it up to its maximum potential so the next weapon that we have is blood tears which is mostly for grim tooth or venom knife this cutter is not for the crit type nor the sonic blow type but it is mostly for the venom type uh venom knife type it can also be good for sonic blow but i would still think that qatar of quaking or agent qatar gives you more attack rather than blood tears um the next good weapon would be loki snail loki snail is your attack speed type of weapon it, it does not give you any bonus on your critical rate nor your critical damage however it gives you bonus on your attack and your agility so basically this one is an auto attack type that doesn't really give you any crit but you can get crit from other items so this item could be useful if you are going for high attack speed since getting high attack speed on Qatars is quite hard so those are the basic weapons which you can use offhand there are three items which i think could be um, easily obtainable and uh, is good for everyone so the first one is the floral bracelet or the rosa bracelet this one gives you ignore death this is good for non-crit type builds since crit type already ignores 100% of the defense so non-crit type builds this would be good for you it ignores 25% death good for high death monsters uh, the next one would be golden ornament this one is for the crit type golden ornament upgrades into vinx bracelet which gives you 8 crit rate and uh, gives you more crit rate as you upgrade it and lastly fox risk guard fox risk guard gives you 10% attack speed if you are able to upgrade it and even more once you've upgraded into noble bracer which gives you more attack speed as well so it works well with uh, loki snail which we talked about earlier which is focused on attack speed and now for the armors for the armors i recommend three items so the first one would be mink coat or beast heart one beast heart gives you five crit so if you're a qatar type effectively gives you 10 crit the next one would be um, thief clothes thief clothes works well with the holy dagger so if you are a dagger type wielding holy dagger thief clothes is your friend and the last one is ninja suit ninja suit is for the critical build who needs more attack speed to boost up 
So if you are already at 100% crit or even more and just want to get more attack speed, then you can get Ninja Suit for your armor. Next one is for the garments. Uh, there are three garments which I can think of that is really good in terms of DPS. So the first one is Ancient Cape, which gives you 15% um, ignored defense. So this is great against uh, high defense monsters. Uh, the next one would be the Blue Eve Cape, which gives you flea. So if you want to um, increase your flea and upgrading it also gives you attack speed and strength, which is quite nice for any type of build. We have. Lastly, we have Windrunner Cape. Windrunner Cape gives you 7% crit damage when wielding Katars. So for the shoes, I would suggest maybe two two of the shoes here. Um, sprint shoes. So sprint shoes um, gives you 10% movement speed, and you can use a skill charge. And comboing it with Rider Insignia gives you flee. So if you want to get the flee, you can combo it with the Garment Rider Insignia, which is right here. So the other one would be the Sack Teddy Shoes or the Advanced Sack Teddy Shoes. This one gives you 6 Agi, which can help you with your attack speed since once again, um, getting attack speed is quite hard. So that is it for the boots. The last one will be accessories. We have 3 possible accessories, which is Ring, so Strength Ring. Uh, since Strength gives you more damage, you would want to get more damage, so Strength Ring. Um, the next one is Brooch. It gives you Agility, which helps you with your attack speed and flee. Next one is Rosary or Lock Necklace. Basically this one is for crit type assassin. So if you want to go for more crit, more crit chance and more crit resistance, this could be helpful for you. An honorable mention would be Matir's Leash. Matir's Leash gives you a skill speeding up which gives you 100% movement speed for 5 seconds. This can be useful for some cases and it has higher attack rather than those other rings. And it also gives you more attack at higher levels. So it can be useful for the early stages, but you will eventually have to change it to a different one if you do choose to go for a Matir's Leash. And lastly, let's talk about pets. So this is one thing that I think people neglect a bit. Um, people mainly focus on getting their gears upgraded, getting them refined. But honestly, I would prefer to uh, focus on pets. They give you a good amount of stats. Uh, with just a few amount of zenny to spend. So let's say you want a yo-yo, you can buy um, banana for a few thousand zennies and you can get a yo-yo which gives you attack speed. So if this attack speed is level 10, can give you 5% attack speed which is really nice. Same thing here if you're a crit type, Mandragora. Mandragora seed will give you 1 crit for each level so it can give you a total of 10 crit. So if you can get a level 10 crit rate up, it will give you 20% crit rate if you are using Qatar. And the next one would be Desert Wolf Baby. Desert Wolf Baby gives you a 5% um, de 0.5 defense penetration per level of this skill. So if you can get a level 10 skill, it will give you 5% defense penetration or defense ignore. And lastly, um, Baphomet Jr. Baphomet Jr. gives you crit damage. So up to 5% crit damage, which is nice for those um, critical users and gives you movement speed as well. So that is it guys, that is basically all the information that I can give you for now. I'm not sure if I missed anything. Um, if I did, please hit down in the comments below. Um, if you have any more further questions, I'll try to answer them. This is basically what I have learned and what I have studied um, for my assassin. And I'm just sharing it with you guys. And please continue to vote for your class that you want me to make. I will be posting the poll in the description below. So you guys can vote for which class you want. So what, whichever is the second highest next to assassin will be my next guide so that is it guys i hope you guys like this video please be sure to hit that like button if you like this video hit that subscribe button for more videos and i will see you all next time